Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today and happy Independent Bookstore Day. It is April 30th and every, the last Saturday of every April is Independent Bookstore Day. And so I'm here to do some book shopping at a few independent bookstores. So right now I'm parked in front of Bookshop Santa Cruz, which is a bookstore in Santa Cruz. <laughs> I've been here once, maybe twice before, but the second time was a long, long time ago. Um, and so I wanted to come back today. And then after this, I think I'm going to go to Recycle Books in San Jose. I usually go to the Campbell location, but because I go there so often, I wanted to try out the San Jose location, which is a little bit bigger and see if they have a used copy of Ulysses by James Joyce, because I just read a book that had a lot to do with Ulysses. So um, I'm gonna look for that. Um, and then the third store, I don't know if I'm gonna go to a third store or not, but if I do, it's probably gonna be this really small store in Sunnyvale, which is super, super cute, but really tiny. So I think it's gonna be hard to get <laughs> footage there just cause like, everyone can see everything you're doing in that store. So anyway, uh, we're going to go into Bookshop Santa Cruz. The only book, again, that I'm looking for today is Ulysses. Everything else is a mystery to me. I'm going to kind of just let the day take me and see which books catch my fancy. That could be two books. That could be eight books. I'm just here to support some independent bookstores today. But it's going to be a fun day. I'm really excited. So here we go. Hello from Voice Over Noel, and welcome to Bookshop Santa Cruz. I usually just put music over my book shopping clips, but I thought I would try a voiceover out today. Anyway, welcome to Bookshop Santa Cruz. This bookshop opened in 1966, so it's over 50 years old, and it has such a fun kind of Santa Cruz vibe. It has a lot of natural light, and everyone is so friendly who works here. There's also so many personalized book recommendations on the shelf, which I really appreciate from a personalized standpoint. It doesn't feel so corporate when you're seeing so many people's handwriting. It feels very organized, but very familiar. And that's something I also love about not only this bookshop, but just independent bookstores in general. It feels like a lot of heart goes into it and you can just kind of feel the family that owns it in every shelf and every display. And I just love it here. So it is in Santa Cruz. It's more on the downtown Santa Cruz area. It's not really beach boardwalk area. So there's lots of places to get food once you're done book shopping. There's lots of places to get coffee, to get ice cream, to just shop. And so I really loved it here and I had a blast. Great way to start independent bookstore day. Hi everyone, I am back from Bookshop Santa Cruz and there were about 15 books I was interested in, but I only left with four because I know I'm trying to go to a couple others today. So the first one actually is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Have like kind of been interested in seeing the movie, never really thought about the book. I was just like, whatever, that's something that exists out in the world. But the book plate was just so complimentary and it actually said like, this book will make you love reading again or will make you fall in love with the art of reading. Anyway, I thought that was a really cool description of the book, a really good sell of the book. So I picked it up. All right, the next book that I picked up from Bookshop Santa Cruz is a memoir. As so many of you know, I'm really into memoirs these days. In Speak Okinawa, Elizabeth Mickey Bryna comes to term with the embattled dynamics of her own family and reckons with the injustices that reverberate through the history of Okinawa and its people. Clear-eyed and profoundly humane, her book is a starting, startling accomplishment, a heartfelt exploration of identity, inheritance, forgiveness, and what it means to be an American. I thought it sounded really good, and I looked up the reviews, and it got dazzling reviews, and I was like, done. All right, next up, we have a signed edition which I don't have very many signed books. So when I find them, I get really excited. And Bookshop Santa Cruz has so many signed copies, like whole stacks of signed books from so many authors and so many different places. It's not even like a signed table. It's all over the place. You can just randomly find a signed edition. So if you've ever been interested in getting signed copies, 
Bookshop Santa Cruz might be the place to go. But anyway, but the book is, Jesus, Noel, just get to it. It's um, Time as a Mother by Ocean Vuong. This is the same author that wrote On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous, which I read last year, which is beautiful. I think it really took the internet by storm in such a wonderful way. Really heartbreaking, really well written, just like such a good, short, poignant book. So I wanted to get whatever this author wrote next, and this is technically a poetry collection which I don't really read poetry very often, but I do want to get better about reading poetry. And this felt like the perfect book to do that. Okay, and then the last book I picked up was Another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson. This is by the same author that wrote Red at the Bone, which I read last year and really enjoyed. Some overall feedback or reviews that I've seen about Jacqueline Woodson's work is that although her books are really short, they pack a lot of emotion in just such a precise and succinct way. Um, and so the little like book plate that I saw for this book said something like, this book holds just as much emotion as a book three times its size. And I thought, again, another really great sale by this bookshop. So I'm really excited about this one. I love the cover. I love that it's kind of reflective. And um, I really, really enjoyed Red of the Bone. So I think this is gonna be another fantastic addition to the book collection. Anyway, those are the books. Off to San Jose. This is gonna be like a 45 minute drive. So I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna eat my apple. It's a good day, friends. Happy Independent Bookstore Day. Okay, <laughs> time to drive to San Jose. Okay. VoiceOver Noelle is back to talk about Recycle Bookstore. This was the second location of the day, and I love Recycle Bookstore. I usually go to the Campbell location. It's where I sell all my books when I'm selling books or I'm doing a big unhaul, but the San Jose location is huge, and they have such good copies and editions of books. So if you're ever trying to find like a cool edition of a book you've been trying to hunt down, Recycle Books is awesome, so highly recommend. A little bit of history that you can find on their website is Recycle Bookstore is a San Jose institution beginning in 1967 when Pat and Joan Hayes created the bookstore. It started on First Street, moved to San Fernando, and then settled on Santa Clara Street for over 20 years. Eric and Cynthia Johnson bought the store from Joan Hayes in October of 1998 and had to move the store to its current location on the Alameda. In early 2004, the Johnsons opened a second location in Campbell, which is my beautiful darling of a bookstore. So that is Recycle Books. Now I'll hand you back to Noelle. Hello everyone. That was a big ass bus. Damn. Hi. I uh, just left to Recycle Books in San Jose and didn't get as much of a loot as I did in Santa Cruz. All I picked up while I was there was Raymond Chandler's Farewell My Lovely. This matches another Raymond Chandler, I think I still own, The Big Sleep, and um, my copy, one of my copies of The Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett. So um, I was kind of going back and forth between two different copies. I had one that was like this hardback, like kind of cool library looking book with like, um, I think this was on purpose, but there's like a business card of the detective, Marlowe, on the front, it's like sealed into the cover of the book. And it was really cool, but I don't like reading hardbacks. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna buy this cause it's cool looking, but I'm not gonna enjoy the reading process. So I picked up this instead, which matches other editions that I have. Like it has this color block spine and then has the author's name in a different color. Okay, but it is 1 PM now, which means Mama needs to eat, and uh, but what to eat is the question. How about this? I'll go home, I'll have food at home, have some lunch, see the puppies, let them out, let them run around. Then in a couple hours, I'll go out to a bookstore. Cause also right now it's like height lunch hour. So lots of people are out walking around and the bookstore I wanna go is in like a little downtown. So lots of people will go, be going in and out. But if I time it for like three or four, it'll be a little less busy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna eat some food, and then, and then 
I will go out to the third and final bookstore of the day. Okay, let's go. Hello everyone, it's me again, and it is 5.15. So it's been a few hours since I was last out. I went home, had some lunch, hung out with the dogs, watched a whole thing about a criminal case <laughs> I just, that happened <laughs> earlier this year. It was a long video. Anyway, I'm here now at my third and final bookstore of this book shopping video, and that is Lay's Favorite Books. Lay's? Lies? I'm gonna say Lay's, but it's Lay's Favorite Books in Sunnyvale, California. I've been to this bookshop before. It is super cute, but it's super small. It actually like really, really reminds me of the bookshop in You've Got Mail with Meg Ryan, the like really, really small one with like the two big front windows. As you know, I'm looking for Ulysses while I'm in there, but I also want to try to find Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. I took this photo earlier because I had it in my hand, and then I said, never mind, I don't want it right now. I'll just find it some other day, and now I want it. Now I'm thinking about it, and now I'm like, let's see if I can find it. So those are the two books I'm looking for. Lay's favorite books has both used books and new books, so we'll see what they have. But because it's such a small bookstore, I'm not going to get any footage of me actually in the store. I'm just going to try to get a few clips of the bookstore itself. I feel like I've gotten enough of me in bookstores today, <laughs> so I'll try to get some cute clips. But yeah, this is the third and final. I'm going to see what I can find, and then I'll show you the loot from the day. So here we go. Wish me luck. Ulysses, Fate and Furies, happiness, right? <laughs> okay. That's not the title of a book. That's an emotion I'm trying to feel. Okay, great. Here we go. Okay, here we are with the final bookshop of the day. Look at how cute the inside is with the little flags. I loved it. Anyway, this is Lay's Favorite Books in Sunnyvale, California, opened in 2004. Apparently it was a pretty small bookshop back then, and now it has grown to over 40,000 titles with a bunch of cards and gift items. And it's just really fun and quirky. And it feels like if you needed to buy someone a gift, this might be the place to go. So I had so much fun coming here. It was a great way to end this book shopping video and I will be coming back way more often now that I've been reminded how cute it is. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am back from Lay's favorite books in Sunnyvale and I picked up three books while I was there. So it has been a successful day of book shopping. Um, but let's talk about the books first. First we got Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. I talked about wanting to find this one. I evidently found it, and it was the only copy they had. And it was a National Book Award finalist. We love to see that little silver button, so there you go. Um, the other two were books that I haven't heard about. I was just perusing, and I saw them, and I said, what are you about? And then took them home. <laughs> anyway, the first one is Funny You Should Ask. The cover obviously caught my attention. It was like laying out on a flat lay of books. And I said, that looks like a cool Valentine's Day comic. Um, and it just looks really good. It looks like a woman who's trying to become a writer um, and she wants to be a serious writer, but all she can do is kind of write fluff pieces, like really short articles. And then she's asked to write the memoir, no, write a profile of movie star Gabe Parker, her number one celebrity crush and the latest James Bond. So that was then. That's like what her life looked like. And then it says, now, 10 years later, after a brutal divorce and a healthy dose of therapy. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe her and the James Bond guy got together and now she's trying to recover her life or take agency back over her life. So I don't know. I saw the cover and I thought it looked cool. And then I was like, oh wow, we just watched all the James Bond movies. Maybe this is fate. That's it. If you've read it, let me know what you think. There's a woman right next to my car who's all mad at these ducks in the road. <laughs> like really shit talk to them with her window rolled down. <laughs> they 
were just a couple of ducks crossing the road. Okay. Uh, the last book that I picked up while I was at the bookstore was a book that was entirely inspired by the last book I finished, which was called The Paris Bookseller. So I went ahead and picked up basically the same titled book, which is The Paris Library. Here's the deal. Uh, when I saw it, I said, that looks exactly like the book you just read. Maybe we don't. And then I read the back and I said, maybe we do. <laughs> and evidently we did. Okay. Um, but it, it's a historical fiction. Half of it is set in World War II Paris in 1939. And then the other half is set in Montana 1983. It looks like whatever's happened in Paris has rippled out to um, Montana in the 80s. So, you know what? I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm really in historical fiction right now, so yeah. Let's do a final wrap-up of all the books, and then that will be the end of this video. Um, these are what I picked up from Lay's favorite books. Then at Recycle Books, I picked up that Raymond Chandler book, which I already took inside, so I can't add it as part of this final haul, but that was something I picked up. Very cool. Excited to read it. It has really good reviews. So I hope I like it better than The Big Sleep because I don't like The Big Sleep very much. And then the final four books I got were all from Bookshop Santa Cruz, Another Brooklyn, which I'm really excited for. Then a poetry collection, signed nonetheless, Time is a Mother. Then we got One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Again, it was just the bookshop's recommendation that really got me. And then the last one, we have a memoir, Speak Okinawa. Again, very into memoirs these days. I just, I looked up the reviews for this one. It seems to be getting incredible reviews. I love the cover. It's a memoir. I mean, need I say more? No. Okay. So those are all the books that I picked up today for Independent Bookshop Day. I hope this video was fun. Let me know if you picked up any books for Independent Bookshop Day. If so, how many did you get? What's your favorite you picked up? What are you the most excited for? And if you didn't pick up a book today, which is totally fine, what book is next on your book buying pile? Like what's at the top of the books you wanna buy soon? Okay, all right. So thank you all for being here. I hope you had a lovely weekend. I hope this video was fun and I hope to see you in the next one.